Welcome to AdWords. My name's Joanne and I'm an AdWords strategist at Google. This lesson is the first in our three-stage Getting Started series to help you set up your AdWords account for success. This first lesson will cover everything you need to know to create your AdWords account. So let's take a look at the agenda. We'll cover the AdWords essentials, the things you should know before you set up your account, and then we'll go through the details of creating your account, your first campaign, and entering your billing information. Once you've completed the steps in this lesson, your account will be up and running. And I'll also give you tips along the way for how to create a winning account. So let's get started. The AdWords Essentials. A few things you should know before you create your account. So what is AdWords? Well, AdWords is Google's advertising product, which allows businesses large and small to promote their products and services on Google and our partner network. But how does it work? Firstly, you create your ads and choose keywords, which are words or phrases related to your business. Then your ads appear on Google and partner sites. When people search on Google using one of your keywords, your ad may appear next to the search results. So you're advertising to an audience that's already interested in what you have to offer. You attract customers. People can simply click your ad to visit your website, make a purchase or learn more about you. It's that easy. Great, but where will your ads actually appear? Let's take a look. AdWords ads appear on the Google search results page above and to the right-hand side of the search results. The search results in the main section of the page are completely separate to AdWords ads. You can't influence the search results or alter the way your site appears in the natural search results by using AdWords. To learn more about the natural search results here, please visit google.com.au forward slash webmasters. Your AdWords ads may also show on relevant content network sites. The Google Content Network is a large, diverse network of sites that partner with Google. On the Content Network, you can show your ad to potential customers when they're looking at sites relating to your product or service. For example, if you sell used cars, your ad could appear here and on many other sites in the Google Content Network, such as these. Using the content network along with search means you can reach your customers no matter what they're doing on the web. We work with lots of different sites from large publishers to small specialty sites such as blogs, social networking sites and discussion forums. And the AdWords system uses targeting technology so your ad will only appear on sites that are relevant. So now let's take a quick look at a few key terms and concepts. Understanding what these mean will help you when using AdWords. Keywords are the words or phrases a Google user types into the search box. A keyword is often more than one word, and with AdWords, two or three word keywords usually work best. In this example, the keyword is used cars for sale. With AdWords, you specify the keywords for which you want your ad to appear, so your ad will only appear to users who are searching for your product or service. Cost per click, or CPC, is the amount of money it'll cost you each time someone clicks on your ad and visits your website. This is the main form of pricing with AdWords and means you only ever have to pay for visits to your site. You're completely in control of the amount you pay on both a per-click and a daily basis, so you can be sure you're never charged more than you specify in your AdWords account. Ad quality is an important concept to understand as it forms the basis of how AdWords works. The AdWords system rewards relevant quality advertising with a higher position on the search page and lower costs. In simple terms, this means that the ads you create with AdWords will perform better and cost you less if they're highly targeted to your customers. AdWords uses this system so users can find what they're looking for quickly and simply. And the good news is if they do, they're more likely to be interested in what they find when they get to your site. I'll give you pointers for how to achieve high quality as we go through the campaign creation process. So now you understand the basics, let's create your AdWords account. Creating an AdWords account couldn't be simpler. Visit adwords.google.com.au and click on Try AdWords Now. 
You'll then be guided through the steps needed to create your account, specifying an email address and password that you'll use to log in to AdWords. This is also the page you'll need to visit each time you log into your AdWords account. To log into your account at any time, you need to enter your email address and password here. If you use bookmarks, you may want to bookmark this page so you can easily find it later. So once you've set up your account, you'll be prompted to create your first campaign and submit billing details. These are essential steps to get your ads up and running. Firstly, let's create your first AdWords campaign and I'll give you some tips along the way to help you set up a winning campaign. When you first log into your account, you'll see this screen. Click on Create Your First Campaign to get started. Your first campaign should focus on the one made product or service you want to promote. So think about what that is now. You can come back later to create additional ads to advertise more of your products. Focusing on one product or service from the start will mean your campaign is high quality and so will be more successful. On this page, you'll also find a link to our beginner's guide, which will give you a host of information to help you set up and manage your new account. The first step to create your first campaign is to specify your settings. This is all done on this one page, but don't worry. If you change your mind about any of these settings later, they can be easily changed at any time. Firstly, campaign name. Give your campaign a recognisable name. This will make it easy to manage your account. Name your campaign after the first product or service category that you want to start advertising. Next, location. Where are your customers located? Location targeting allows you to show your ads to your customers wherever they are. Choose what combination of locations, including countries, regions, cities, or customised areas you want to target. Remember to set your location targeting to match where you do business or where you deliver to. Targeting outside your delivery area may lead to unprofitable clicks as visitors to your site can't purchase from you. If you deliver to a wide audience or internationally, focus initially on one location. You can create a number of smaller campaigns with customised ads for each market later. Language. Language targeting allows you to show your ads only to customers who speak a certain language. The language that you use should be the same language that you'll use to write your ads and that your website is written in. If you want to reach your customers in more than one language, you can create separate campaigns for each language later. Make sure to focus your first campaign on one language. Your ads will be more successful. Networks. Networks and devices settings determine where on the internet and on which types of devices your ads will appear. Here, you can choose to show on Google Search and or the Google Content Network we discussed earlier. You can also choose whether to show your ads on computers and or iPhones and other mobile devices with internet functionality. We recommend that you target all networks and devices to gain maximum exposure for your business. Bidding option. Your bidding option is one of the ways you can control the cost of your ad campaign. Your bid is the amount that you're willing to pay for a click on your ad. Here, you can choose either manual bidding, which allows you to control your own bids according to what you think each click will be worth to you, or automatic bidding, where the AdWords system will manage your bids to get you as many clicks as possible within your budget. If you're new to online advertising, or if you're unsure about how to set your bids, then get started using automatic bidding. You can switch to manual bidding to give you greater control at a later date. If you choose automatic bidding here, you can also set a CPC bid limit, which will mean you'll never pay more per click than the amount you set here. Budget. Your daily budget controls your costs and determines how often your ads are shown each day. When your costs reach your budget amount, your ads will stop showing for that day. Set your budget at the maximum amount you're comfortable spending each day. If you're spending your full budget on clicks, 
your ads may only show some of the time. By setting a higher budget, you'll increase the likelihood that your ads will be visible to potential customers every time they search. There are additional advanced settings on this page. If you're new to AdWords, don't worry about these settings for now. Now your campaign settings are complete. Click Save and Continue. The next stage is to create your first ad text. Your ad text is what your customers will see when they search for your product or service. Use your ad to persuade your potential customers to visit your website. Try to tell your customers as much as possible within the ad text to ensure they choose your ad over your competitors. Remember to focus this first ad on your main product or service. You can come back later to create more ads for any additional products you want to advertise. Headline. The best headlines relate directly to what was searched for, so try to include the product or service name that you're advertising in your headline. Your headline can be up to 25 characters, including spaces. Description line one. Try to convey the key details of the product on offer. For example, model, price or discount. Add a call to action such as order online to let customers know what they should do on your site. Your description lines can be up to 35 characters, including spaces. Description line two. The second line of your ad text should highlight any unique selling point that can distinguish you from your competitors. Remember, your customers will choose you over others purely based on the benefits that your ad is selling. Try to add delivery details, limited offers or customer support details to this line of your ad. Display URL. The display URL is the website address that will appear at the bottom of your ad. This gives a clear idea of where the customers will be taken when they click on your ad. Your display URL should be the address of your website homepage, www.example.com. If you have room, try adding an extension to your URL to further describe your product, www.example.com forward slash product. Your display URL can be up to 35 characters. Destination URL. Your destination URL is the address of the page on your website that a visitor is taken to when they click on your ad. On your website, find the page that shows information about the product or service which you offer in the ad. Copy the address of this page and use this as the destination URL. If visitors don't immediately see what they're searching for, they're more likely to leave your site. Linking to a specific page on your website will therefore usually give better results than linking to your home page. So that's it. You've now created your first ad, but how will your customers find your ad? Now let's create your keyword list. Your keywords are the words or phrases that will trigger your ads to customers when they're looking for your product or service online. If your keywords are highly relevant to your ad, you're likely to receive more clicks and more sales. Make sure each keyword is relevant and specific to the ad you've just written. Imagine what you would search for if looking for the product or service on Google. One word keywords are likely to be too general. Try adding phrases with two or three words. Include relevant variations, single and plural versions, synonyms or product and brand names. Try to add 10 to 20 keywords to get you started. Use our sample keywords to help and simply click add to add them to your campaign. Once you've chosen your keywords, click on the estimate search traffic button to see an estimate of the number of clicks per day you may receive based on your chosen keywords, daily budget and maximum cost per click. You'll only get a true picture of how your campaign is performing once it's been running for a few days, however. So check in regularly to monitor your performance. And that's all there is to it. 
you've now created your first campaign. So once you're happy with all of the details, just click Save and Continue to Billing. You'll need to add in billing details before your ad starts to run. In addition, some ads need to be reviewed by the Google team before they're eligible to run. So let's now take a look at how to add in your billing details and activate your account. Your AdWords won't start running until you've submitted your billing details and these have been verified by the AdWords system. If you're using a prepay billing method, you'll also need to transfer funds into your account before your ads will start to run. The first step of adding your billing details is to simply select the country of your billing address and the time zone for your account. Be careful as the time zone you set here can't be changed and it will affect how your AdWords statistics are reported in your account. Now you'll select your form of payment. These will vary dependent upon where your billing address is located, but with AdWords, we generally offer two types of payment method, postpay and prepay. Note that you won't be able to switch from a postpay option to a prepay option or vice versa, so be careful when selecting your payment method here. If you select the postpay option, you'll only make payments after you accrue advertising costs. You'll be billed 30 days after your last payment or when your account costs reach your billing threshold, whichever comes first. If you select a prepay option, you'll pay for advertising before receiving any clicks or impressions. You can add funds to your AdWords account whenever you like and we'll deduct costs from that balance. Your ads will start showing as soon as we receive your first payment and we'll notify you when your balance is running low. If you do run out of funds, your ads will stop showing until you make another payment. Once you've chosen a billing method, click Continue. Read through and accept our terms and conditions and click Continue. On the next page, follow the steps to enter your payment information. If you've chosen a post-pay billing option, your ads can begin running as soon as we've validated your form of payment. If you've chosen prepay, you'll need to make your first payment before your ads begin to run. And there you have it. Your first campaign is up and running. To get the most out of AdWords, you'll need to check in on your account regularly to understand how it's working and to create and edit your ads. The next lesson in this series will walk through your account and show you the ropes so you can really make the most of your new account. Thanks for watching this lesson. Good luck with your new account.